Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and Life Path number 7. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my cancers out there. So if you have cancer as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation, in communication, at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for all of my cancers out there, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So, let's go ahead and get started with some messages from your person. Can I let you in? I wish you would speak up. I don't want to see this go. So also, Cancer, please keep in mind, if I'm speaking from your person's perspective, that could be how you feel. The roles could be reversed, just however this reading resonates for you. But so far, Cancer, I do feel like there is this worry about feeling comfortable enough to maybe let your guard down because you might be concerned about your person's true colors and maybe some things have stood out to you and it just you can't help but pay attention to them because they spark up your intuition and it's like you have interest in your person cancer and you would like to let them in you would like to be fully co comfortable with them but you just can't do that without trusting them so i feel like you're not fully trusting them right now because of what they may have shown you or maybe some things you already know about on your own or maybe they just haven't been the most honest with you cancer so ideally you would like to just be yourself and feel comfortable with expressing yourself but there's that worry or just the reality that if this might end up hurting your feelings if your person wasn't who they necessarily said they were or maybe they're giving out false intentions we have I wish you would speak up. I do feel like this is a mutual energy. From your person's perspective, they do wish that maybe you opened yourself up a little bit more, but at the same time, I feel like maybe that sparks up as a red flag to you, Cancer, because you don't want to be pressured into doing anything that you're not ready to do. And it's like, for you, Cancer, if you've noticed your person maybe making comments or trying to get you out of your shell before you're ready to, I feel like you've taken on or maybe you've thought about why, what's the the pressure for, why are you trying to rush me? I'm letting my guard down little by little and something that doesn't want or make me want to let my guard down is you pressuring me. So I feel like that's something you don't appreciate if your person is a type to want more than you're ready to give but I also feel like this is you towards your person cancer because I do feel like you feel as if they haven't been the most 100% honest with you or you have some suspicion of maybe some ulterior or yeah ulterior motives from your person so I feel like with this card you you do want to see your person for who they really are like you're waiting for what's dark to come to light here whether it's through time or through your person just exposing themselves on their own. I don't want to see this go. I feel like this is your energy towards this connection, Cancer. Um, although you might have some red flags or suspicions, you're not, you're still giving things the benefit of the doubt because I feel like you've made progress in this connection by you feeling comfortable enough to let your guard down little by little and it gives you hope for what's next to come into this connection or for this connection and even if you're not moving at your person's pace, it it shows you that there is something about this person that you do feel comfortable around them. Or there's something about them that makes you feel comfortable, Cancer. But I would just say, like I always say, trust your intuition. 
Don't feel the need to go out of your way for anyone or prove yourself to anyone because no matter who it is, if a person is there for you and they want to be there for you, despite the differences you two might have or despite things that they don't necessarily understand because they've never been through those things before, a person won't pressure you or make you feel like you're not giving as much as you should. So always trust your intuition with that cancer and don't feel like you have to give more, more of yourself than you're ready to um, into this connection. I've never believed in a love like this. Your hugs are the best. Soon. So I'll just start with the soon card. Um, as far as you wanting to find out your person's true intentions or their true colors, or maybe you, Cancer, you're giving them, you, you might be the observer right now. Like, you know how they're trying to maybe feed into you and get you to more get, I'm sorry, I'm tripping over my words, but they're trying to get you to expose yourself more, just show more of yourself before you're ready to, but I feel like you're also taking the time, Cancer, to observe how they're being because you're able to grasp more about who they are and what's the reasoning for this or why are you trying to get me to do that or why are you pressuring me or why are you trying to make me feel as if I need to give more than I'm ready to? So I feel like you, Cancer, you're doing your own observing from your person so you could maybe think more about what to do for this or towards this connection for yourself. So with the soon card, I feel like soon gives insight to when this connection will progress or maybe Cancer, you'll find out the information that you are wondering about your person or maybe new information will be disclosed soon in time. Um, also soon can also be referenced for when you start to let your person in more because maybe they're observing you, observing them. So maybe they're trying to put up a front as well. I'm not saying that you're putting up a front cancer, but maybe how they're being towards you now isn't who they really are when it comes to being in a connection so maybe they notice that you're scoping them out and they're trying to scope you out so even if you feel like your person is like that some people just operate like that even if you feel as if there's no need to speculate one another so closely or like it's like for you, Cancer, I feel like you feel as if we have all this time to get to know each other. So what's the rush? And if you rush me, then it's just going to delay things even more because you don't like to feel rushed. We have, I've never believed in a love like this. I feel like this connection, like you two may still be getting to know one another. So maybe you, Cancer, you do have love for your person, but I feel like this card tells more about how you cancer you maybe never believed that because maybe your past experiences haven't been the best and that could also be a reason to why you have a wall up or you don't trust people so quickly so I feel like with the way your person makes you feel even though you're trying to figure them out fully still Maybe you, Cancer, you were, you're like a hopeless romantic and you didn't feel like you would be in this position before. So, yeah, but this card can literally resonate with you never believing in a love like this if you do have those feelings for your person. You're everything I've always wanted. Get ready. You may not see me, but I'm here. So you're everything I've always wanted. I've never believed in a love like this. So maybe Cancer, this is ideally you're a person that possess the qualities that you've wanted in a person. Um, and when it comes to getting to know them and maybe Cancer, because I feel like you have had your doubts about your person, but at the same time, you don't let those doubts rule out the possibilities of this connection. 
So you could still be trying to fill this out for yourself, Cancer. And especially if this is a newer connection and your person does match up to your ideal person, um, I feel like you understand that some people don't hit it off right away. And the fact that you and your person are still in communication or you two are still dealing with one another or keeping in contact with one another, that gives you the possibility of, okay, maybe we do have our differences, maybe we're miscommunicating, but that doesn't mean that it won't work out. So the fact that they might possess a lot of qualities that you would like in a person, I feel like that helps you or makes you pursue this connection even more. We have get ready. I feel like this is just with the Zoom card. You Cancer might find more information out about your person. Maybe some things will be exposed feelings and by things being exposed that doesn't have to be bad or mean bad but just someone's true feelings being exposed maybe you cancer you take a bigger step in expressing how you feel maybe you feel comfortable um soon or um within divine timing to really express how you feel towards your person you may not see me but i'm here i feel like for some of my cancers you might be in separation from your person um but i do feel like they still creep on your profile or they try to see you in any way they can, whether it's looking at your photos or viewing what you post. Um, or on top of that, they might just think about you all the time, Cancer, and things might stick out to you and you might wonder, is my person thinking about me? And just like when you feel thoughts or have thoughts like that, that just seems so far-fetched, they're not really that far-fetched. So maybe you cancer, you've seen angel numbers, and you instantly thought about this person. But nevertheless, I do feel like you've been on your person's mind and they've been on yours. I can't sit still. I enjoy having fun. Why well, stick to one thing when the world has so much to offer? So I do feel like this is your person's energy, cancer. Um, I feel like there's something about your person where you would like to find more about or just you know that you don't know them fully yet. So you're it's not like you're surprised if the truth comes to light. Um, and I feel like you've been maybe waiting to find more out about something. And with this card, I can't sit still. I enjoy having fun. Why stick to one thing when the world has so much to offer? I feel like your person, they can be interested in you, but they're not so much consistent. And maybe you cancer, you've caught on to that. And then if you two are different, in terms of qualities and characteristics or you feel as if like it's an opposites attract situation it's more things to understand about your person um so i feel like it's been on your mind that your person you you just fully don't know your person yet and because of that anything can happen so I feel like you cancer you've been preparing yourself for hearing things that you might not necessarily want to hear or you're, you're trying to prepare yourself for any possible outcome but that's all I do have for my cancers today thank you all for watching I do hope it resonated it resonates please like comment and subscribe and I will talk to you next time bye